the Joe Rogan experience. What was the last psychedelic <clears throat> trip you had? Any? Re- I did any- mushrooms a couple months ago. Yeah, how yeah, was that? It's fucking awesome. Where'd you do them? Um, did them with Ari on the show. We did did them during a podcast. Really? Yeah. And do you guys start tripping during the podcast? Yeah, yeah, we're having fun. What is it, what does it sound like? It was great. Podcast was great. We didn't take too much, but yeah. we took enough. And w- w- uh, like. You don't, no one can tell when you're on them. Like, you can still function just, normally? Yeah. I mean, it depends on how far you go. I mean, were you you, you go, guys were still funny. Yeah. You can go down the rabbit hole, though. Okay. I mean, you can go down the rabbit hole and be incoherent. Mm-hmm. Mushrooms are, it's dose dependent. I mean, what you're doing is like, you're getting, you know, <clears throat> you take a little bit, you're like shaking hands with the angels, but you're not going to heaven. You're not going okay. to visit them. You're like, hi, how are you? Oh, my God, you're so wonderful. But you're not, like, riding on their wings, and going going to the other dimension. But if you take enough, that's where you go. If you take enough, you're not talking to anybody. And have you done LSD? Yes. And good? Yes. Great experience? Yeah. I, have I you had a bad experience on that? No, no. But God, I, took I, just... it, I took it later in life. I don't think it's... Um, I think most of these psychedelics where you have bad experiences, what you're having is your own psychological dilemma and then your battle hmm. with whatever the the drug or the psychedelic is trying to do to you versus what your ego is trying to control and keep it from happening. I mean, I've seen <clears throat> a lot of people have bad trips. on Some of the worst trips I've ever seen people have was from edible pot. Oh. Edible pot is one of the strongest things that people don't recognize. Mm-hmm. It's it's a very different drug than smoking it. And when, you know, you when you think of things that can take you down the rabbit hole, you don't think of edible pot. Mm-mm. People think of pot as just like, oh, you're going to get high. Maybe you can get too high, but you're just getting high. But <clears throat> when you eat it, it's a completely different animal. Yeah. Literally, like physiologically, it's a different animal. Really? Yeah, it's, it creates something called 11 hydroxy metabolite that's five times more psychoactive than THC. And what? It, it's not, not even psychoactive in smoking it. It's a different drug. That's it why does it, feel different. It's a totally different drug. That makes complete sense. Yeah, it's a different drug. It's processed by your liver. Wow. Yeah, there's something called a one pass. It passes through your liver, and the THC gets processed into 11 hydroxy metabolite. Yeah, okay. You should Google it. It's trippy shit. It's I've, way stronger. Way I stronger. I got um some micro dose versions of mushrooms that I mm. I have had two of them and mm. they were it was great. It just yeah. made things a little bit brighter. Nice. Make, makes it nice. Have you ever microdosed? Yes. You know it does that all the time. Who? Ron White. Oh really? Ron White's a micro dosing motherfucker. Yeah. Because I'm on this new drug. <laughs> it's called mushrooms, and I just take a little bit every day. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people that do that. Yeah, a lot, like dozens, dozens of people who microdose, including fighters. I know a lot of fighters who microdose. Yeah, they I say forgot it helps that their I was even on any. I was like, yeah. I was just like, oh, this room looks like cooler. Yeah, you just feel I was better. Like, oh yeah, I ate yeah. that little piece. Yeah, you just feel a little better, and you're like, what is? Oh, I took mushrooms. Yes, I forgot. <laughs>